Hey guys, so we are finishing up here in Tirana and we are heading out to Jerez. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. See what this place has to offer. And so looking forward to the sites we're going to see because in Jerez, there's some really cool sites. Yeah, so for sure. to that. And this is the main amphitheater. So this is our little unit for the day. I mean, for five days. Beach is out there. Hello, beach. Here is the bed, nice comfy bed. This place had five stars. Lucky just for everything, happy for every moment. Very nice. I'll be happy for every moment because we don't have to work. Four hours of working tonight and then no work for like yeah. two weeks. The host left us a beer, or gave, gave us a beer actually while it was here. It was in the fridge waiting, very kind. TV, great internet, thank you baby. Here's the balcony. And there's the beach. So here we are. This is the view. We are here in Jerez. This is our little balcony. This is the local beach. Um, this area of the water is not like crystal blue like in other areas. This reminds me of the beaches in, in Canada. A little darker water, but it's beautiful and we're happy to be here. Yes, good as. Cheers. Cheers. See what this place has to offer. So that's a garbage truck right there driving on the beach. That's something you don't see We actually attended this restaurant here quite often. It was excellently located below our Airbnb. The food was delicious, the staff was amazing, and just down the road was the hotel zone. On our way to a concert, eh? Mm. <laughs> Didn't see that coming today. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make the amphitheater today, but so this should be fun. And it's in the archaeological museum too, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It's um, uh, a free concert and our Airbnb host let us know about it. So that was really nice of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. piano and violin. violin. Yeah, yeah. We've been watching like Britain's Got Talent and America's yeah. Got Talent like all the time on TV now. So at least now we can go and enjoy it live. <laughs>
don't know. But maybe he's stuck there. I don't know, babe. Big old cow. So these are some of the old trains that they have here in Albania. I think the oldest train line system in all of Europe. So you can currently take the trains. I, um, I believe they only go to two stops, maybe Jerez to Tirana and then um, from Jerez to one other location. So you can get on them. I believe it's like 80 cents um, US dollars to be able to ride them. But they're like this, if not in a worse state. They have full of bullet holes and everything. We really wanted to take a little tour on them this visit, but we haven't had enough time. But this is um, actually a method of transportation you can take while you're in Tirana, and it's very affordable. And um, it was during the communist era too, so apparently there's really cool graffiti and lots of neat things to see. So if you are here, this is definitely a budget-friendly way to travel. So this is the main bus station and you can get budget buses or like without aircon or buses with aircon. You can get pretty much anywhere in Albania from here. The main area you'll see behind me, this is where you'll come to get the majority of the buses and from this location here you can get to most places in the country through their bus system which is really amazing. Um, I think this is your best option, most affordable and probably your most comfortable bet since Albania is a small country, it's quite easy to get around. So uh, we will be taking a Euro bus from Tirana to um, Ohrid tomorrow, so we'll get to show you a little bit of what it's like to cross the borders. But yep, this is it here in Albania, this is Jerez and this is where you would catch the bus. So we were just exploring the city and um, we were trying to find a bank machine and we had a little bit of a tiff argument and then we just made up and we were just walking along the walls here and some random lady um, started talking to us which doesn't always happen and um, she started talking about love and life and if we were a couple and where we're from and and then she was saying, you know, all you need is love, money, and, you know, what did she say? Love, yeah, a good just, job, and... Yeah, good job, good money, good country. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and uh, good life. And she's like, yeah. that's all you need. And then she was like, God bless you. And we were just... <laughs> This kind of stuff happens to us all the time. Yeah, the universe. Seconds after we made up as well. Yeah, we started walking and then. She's like, "It's beautiful. Love is beautiful." And I was, <laughs> I was like, "That happens to us all the time." I'm not surprised. You know, that's God's way of saying, "Smarten up, you guys. Be thankful. You have this beautiful life, this beautiful opportunity, and um, you know, it's nice to have a little reminder of that, especially after a tiff." <laughs> <laughs> lovely park here in Ajuras. This is the castle walls. Um, we can't go to the tower today because it's being um, restored. But I believe this is the entrance to get into the old Roman amphitheater, which we're going to take a look at. So come follow me. Mm. And don't forget to stop and smell the mm. not roses, carnations, I think. Mm. <laughs> So over there is apparently I think they found some tombs and um, so they're excavating those and this is the main amphitheater which would have held about 18,000 spectators which is quite a lot when you when you look at the space it's a lot of people um, 
and uh, yeah, it was in use for some time. I think they stopped using it round about the, I don't know, maybe about the fourth century or fifth century. I'm not sure, but it was, it wasn't used for a long time. So. Mm -hmm. And you can tell because there's, you know, when you look at the situation that it's in now, you can't really make out the seating, but you can still make out the rows. Um, and it's a great piece of Roman history, really. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, Durez was was actually a real um, prominent Roman town. I mean, it's directly opposite to like Rome, really, if you go across the Adriatic and Sea. And borders Macedonia, which is yeah. huge Roman history. And this is a big trade route as well. Lots of people coming through here. Um, there's, I think there's actually a road that goes from here all the way to Macedonia. It's like yeah. one of the longest old Roman roads there is. An um, interesting fact, we're going amazing. to Macedonia next, Cleopatra. Cleopatra was actually Macedonian and born there. And she w became the ruler of Egypt. And she was the first non-native um, Egyptian to, to hold power so chances are she may well have come here absolutely yeah <laughs> for sure why not right so yeah there you have it thanks for that uh, information Leon you're welcome <laughs> This area is so beautiful. Um, they have trees, flowering trees everywhere, and literally, it's so it's so fragrant. Like you mm. can walk and actually smell them. I love that. To me, that's such a beautiful thing. Na natural like aroma, right? Aromatherapy. Yeah. Smells so beautiful. Aromatherapy. I see what you did there, babe. <laughs> that's why it's called the road there. <laughs> <laughs> We're making our way to the sea. You shall see the sea momentarily. <laughs> She's a poet, but you wouldn't know it, huh? Well, maybe you do know. <laughs> it's really interesting. You have cute boutiques like that. You've got laundry hanging up in the windows there, which is beautiful. Look at the shot here. Look at those flowers, guys. I don't know if you can see them. Mm -hmm. So, so beautiful. But look, tons of like construction happening around. So it's just really interesting. The spots that are um, the spots that are really beautifully done are beautifully done, you know. Indeed. But there is a lot of restoration. We're on the boardwalk in Duras. And it's really pretty, actually. Um, we had a really the benefit of a really nice boardwalk in Batumi uh, when we were there. Um, but this one's just as beautiful uh, as you can see. It's very well done. I don't know where I'm going, but <laughs> it's very hot though. Like currently, it's yeah. uh, ten thirty four in the morning, and it's already like thirty four degrees out. Yeah. The point being, it's blazing hot right yeah. now. It's so hot, and we came out this morning to go look at the amphitheater. Like we walked for, we've been walking for about an hour, but you definitely kind of want to take that midday break here because the, the sun is really intense. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. We'll show you some more. Found another one. I know. Oh, he's yeah. lost his sword. Oh, look, he lost his sword, guys. Uh oh. Oh, he lost his sword too. What is? Or no, what? They don't. They have no swords. Oh. I was taking a picture. <laughs> Jenna Lim travel blog. <laughs> That's loud to come. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. <laughs> Coffee and a beer. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye bye, Adjuras.
So today we finish what Leon is chewing, the cookie. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we just finished our time here in Jerez. It's been really amazing. We're about to start our journey um, by bus to go to uh, Orid, Lake Orid. So first mm -hmm. we're going to take a taxi from Jerez to Trana because we just thought it was simpler. Um, that's costing us 3,000 luck flat rate. Mm -hmm. um, and then we catch our bus direct from Tirana to Orid with Eurobus, and I believe that was 23 euro for the two of us one really way. Nice with that. No. And we're crossing the border as well, so it should hopefully yeah. go smoothly. So we'll show you, see how it goes. You know, if you're enjoying this video, now would be the time to subscribe. Um, and by subscribing to our channel, don't forget, it doesn't cost you any money. You don't have to put in any information. All it will do is next time you come on YouTube, it will show us in your recommended list if you've been enjoying these videos, okay? So if you have been, please, uh, subscribe and like if you want.